Oh, we're just about to jump into it today. We've got trusses landed up there, all the materials for the rafters. There's still a fair bit to do. We have to finish off a couple walls upstairs, brace a lot of stuff off. But we've been given three days to try and get this entire job done. <laughs> Are you ought to grab a ladder and just shoot the tops in? Should, should be all sweet now to let go. Hey, um, Oscar, I might get you to jump in the back of me. Yeah. We'll set up some string lines, start marking out the trusses. Yeah. Mitch, are you all sweet to finish off these walls and get them up? Marion? Mina, are you all sweet to finish off these walls and get them up? <laughs> sweet. Jeez. We might, yeah, we might start on this wall right here where the truss pack is. Even though it's about two mil, I want to get that right because the rafters are going in this full too. Yeah. And if we can just cut them all exactly the same. It's good, yeah. Where the trusses land on the wall, is that fine right there? Yeah, it's good. Nice. All right, so we'll just change this one here. If possible, can I get you to um, move the wall until it's right and then I'll shoot it when you're happy? Go one there. Happy? Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks, mate. I'm pretty sure the, um, the first few trusses up there are going to be for the front, so I'll jump up and we'll start sorting them out. I think the issue is here too, those bottom S4s, they're for the front too, which means we can't just take them off and start doing them. We're going to have to almost move every single truss to move those four out of the way, and then we're going to be good to go. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I honestly think the best thing about Buckaroo isn't the pouches, it's more the actual belt that you get. Yeah. I think that's probably the best thing about it. Yeah. I'll pass these ones down to you. Yep. Um, you just trying to think about that now. I think I might, I think you might need to jump into this room back here and I'll pass them to you here. So these, these trusses are for the very front. They are? Yeah. I can just bring them up straight through pretty much. Yes, I think I might be the best way to do it. And box gutter is pointing towards the driveway too. So I just got my camera behind you too. Is that okay? Do you want me to jump down and move that? Um, you got, can you just hold on to that? I've one? got that, yeah. yeah. We'll jump up, we'll shoot our sides off. Yep. And then I'm happy to just lock it in and hold mine in place. If you want to come down, get your block at the level, plumb yours up, shoot it on. Yeah, okay. And then I'll do my side. And then we'll get two more blocks and start some dog lines. Yep. It's a puzzle doing trusses. Oh, yeah. The $250 for 10 things of gas this morning. Oh. I don't understand how. That was a power too, because I got my old man. So like yeah, the discount. Do you reckon you, if you're framing, you probably go through one thing of gas a day oh, at yeah. least? Yeah. I suppose that's not too bad then. You're looking at 25, 30 bucks for years of Pazload doing trusses. I mean, it definitely adds up if you do a lot of it. Yeah. You, no, you have to use it though. I love the AG framer, but you just can't work all day on the roof with it. Thank you. Well, I'm a tiny bit worried about time. Yeah. It's uh, 10 o'clock now. The boys are just, um, I think they're just doing the last few top lights from those walls they put in. Yeah. That's good, it means we'll get another set of hands. Someone can run around doing all the uh, cross braces. Yep. Once we, once we get these five done, I think it's going to be worth spending some time like restacking that entire pile yep. um, and then spreading them out. And once we have three people here yep. and once this room's done, I can walk in that internal wall there, safely in the middle there, move them around and just two, two of you guys can stand the ladder and shoot them off. Yep. So I think this will be slow, but we'll get a moving pretty quickly soon. Let's 
gonna hold that there for one sec. Do you have that balance? Yeah. Is that hitting your nog? Sorry. Was that rough mark we did for that first skull lot? Was that? Uh, just there. Just here. Oh, right here where I am, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll mark to there and then we'll um, figure that out. This skull lot in here, there's um, nothing really to go off. It's in the hallway where you are. Uh, it doesn't line up with anything. It just looks like it is roughly 300 mil off this wall here. And that aligns with our truss measurements. Um, I'm just double checking everything, but what I've done is from the mark there, yep. I've done a 420 space. Yep. Um, then do that truss and then do a 600 center and that's for our skylight. I feel like we've had a good morning, but we have seemed to have had a good morning. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like it's been four hours though. I feel like we've done two and a half hours, maybe three hours worth of work. I mean, it does take a bit of time, like fixing the walls, string lining them. Like we had to frame a few walls in the morning too, but. Yeah. No, after lunch, we should fly through. I reckon uh, Wednesday, Arvo, we'll get this done. That's the aim for these next three days. This, this whole video is, Mitchie, if we can get this whole job done in three days. I'm like, honestly, that, that's what we're aiming for. That's what we need to get done. I'm more here thinking, are we going to get it done in four days or five days? <laughs> Yeah. We got two blokes jumping on with us for the next two days, so we should get a bit of progress going. And if we um, stop sending around and chatting like this now too, we might even get closer. <laughs> um, if it's okay, I'll just I'll pass these big ones down to you, then we'll have lunch. We should, do, we should do a segment, Mitch, in every video where you uh, get to set up, set up one shot with the camera, get people to review it, together with your shutters. Yeah. It's the shot of the day. Looks like it's on an angle. Ah. I'm just That's right. Yeah, pull that across. That's all you boys, just be careful about those because they are loose just there. Yep. <sighs> Mitch. The shot is going to be of you boys, just like peacefully bringing them down. And the mic's on me, you're just going to hear me gasping for breath, just <laughs> panting. <laughs> Sweet. Nice little shot there, Mitchie. Far out. I'm covered in sweat after that. Perfect day for it though. Better than Friday when we're covered in rain and fog and mist. Sweet, so after lunch, these will go up and like, I can, we'll be done in 15 minutes, yeah. Let's get some tucker. Now doing this looks a bit dodgy and one of the neighbors thought so as well because they took a photo of me doing this and sent it to WorkSafe. WorkSafe did end up rocking up the site pretty quickly as well. And that took about half an hour as we walked through everything. They had to look through everything in site, make sure everything was good. And they were pretty happy with the site and even happier with the way we're doing these trusses. It does look a bit dodgy if you've never done this before, but I'm walking on the internal plates and while I'm walking holding the truss, the truss actually makes it so much more safe because it acts as a balance beam and I can lean it on any of the external walls for balance or for a fixed point if I need to. We're not doing too great for time though. It's oh, it's just ticked over 1 p.m. right now. I don't know where the last hour went. We actually just had WorkSafe come up. Um, there was a report that someone said we were doing unsafe work working on the roof. They came in, they were completely happy with everything, but we still have to spend about 20 to 30 minutes going through chatting to them. So that was a bit of a delay we weren't really accounting for today. The boys are just going to jump up. They're going to slap them in. They don't really need me in the middle of pulling them up. So I'm going to sit up on this side and start marking out the rest of the trusses and hopefully we can get those up today too. I've marked, off, well, I've marked up enough for these to go in. The issue is the S2s at the very top. They go exactly where those trusses are and the ones at the bottom go all the way at the front. So I'm going to have to jump up, almost going to have to slide them all off and kind of restack them the other way. Yeah, it would have been smart if we did these first, to be honest. What I'm going to do is can I get two guys on the ladder either side? Yeah. We're just going to pull them all off and start stacking them right there at the bottom. Just move the stack over. Up down here on the ground? No, we'll keep them up here. 
but I'm just gonna push them towards you. And we'll start a new stack there. These like just reach on both plates, so you just wanna make sure that they don't slide off either side. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mitch, Mitch to middle a bit. We're gonna stay exactly 90 mil on. Oh, it's about to drop in three, two, Nice. You good for late? Nice work, boys. Fire out, they're big trusses. Hang on. No, you're right, you're What I'm thinking we have to do, because obviously we need these two first and all these over here, is I think I'm gonna have to stack these on top of there, and we're gonna try and have to push and move that entire pack across. Alrighty, three, two. Yep. Cool. Do you just need a temp lock on the angle and just shoot these in place? Yeah. Can I get like a 1200 piece here? Right. Might actually work out better if we just shoot these in here first, keep them out of the way. Yeah. Then we'll do those big ones. Thanks. Okay. That sweet. Cheers. <laughs> you just might need to push your trusses a tiny bit when you get there. Yeah. No, you're good. All good. Right, that's day one of three done. I still think it's probably gonna take more like four or five days to get this whole thing done. The plan tomorrow is to get set up with a whaler there, build this wall up here for the carport and start working at heights and get everything set up so we can start smashing up these rafters and getting the main structure built. All right, just so you know too, Mitch, what we're gonna do for this point anyway, we'll leave this back pergola section out. There's not a lot of detail on that. But um, we'll plumb this up, we'll build that wall down by the carport. And then what's gonna happen is we'll put a whaler up about 2.4 meters high on that wall up there, which is pretty much close to the top. 20 degree full rafters, they're gonna land on this wall coming through here. Yeah. So we'll build a nibble up to those rafters. And then what we'll do once those rafters are in, I believe this is a flat roof, I'll check it. I think it's one or two degrees. I'm gonna say two degrees, we'll double check oh, it though. It does, it changes pitch, but it's going to be two degrees from that wall point there, yeah. running back up to this wall. So they're not going to land in the same pitch. That, these are after so walls. Wall yeah? Yes, this wall in the middle. I'll show, I've worked it away to make it work without doing two nibbles, um, and I'll show you that in a sec. While you're here, can I get you to pull this one towards the front? Very, very slightly. It's almost good. Back to me, oh, back to me a tad. Just hold that there. I'm going to check both sides. Perfect, right? Or go to you. One more of those. Go there. Perfect. I want to work out um, the height for the walls we need to build for these rafters. One, two, three, eighty. That's bottom of rafter. It's going to be where whaling plate goes. I've worked all the measurements out. So we've got five, one, ten meter span at twenty degrees. It means our rise is gonna be 1860 from my point. What I'll need to get you though, so you, don't, you have this measurement here. What, yeah, I'll come down, I'll come down 1860, measure off there, yeah, and then let you know, yeah. So I have 565. <clears throat> so right down 565, what we're gonna do here is build a double pitching plate. Rafters are 900, so we're going to do 450 stud centers and we're going to land a stud under every rafter. Yeah. So we'll just do a single. So it's 565, we'll do a pitching plate at 529, we'll take a mill off that. Just for now though, can you cut a block at 565? I want you to put a block up there and then I want us to get a measurement of what this rafter is going to be and make sure it's going to work. All right, so it's 5630 roughly. That's sweet, let's just check what we have. They should be six side lengths. Mitch. So what's happened 
estimated to screw it up. Don't know what's going on here. Half of these beams, these are 190 by 35. All of these are 190 by 35. Those are 190 by 45. Every single beam here, not a single one of them is for anywhere in this frame. Um, is this being used on the bottom? No, we'll have a look at what we got. Because, yeah, if you don't need to leave it packed. Yeah, yeah, we won't yeah. touch that pack then. So we don't need any of this. Don't know where this came from. What we're going to do though is for the carport, it calls for 190 by 45 pine. We're going to change it and use these at 190 by 35 LVL. So that works. Oh, is it calling for pine, is it? It called for pine. So if we do 35 LVL, that's fine. Yeah. We'll get confirmation, but what we'll do, we're going to sort this out, work what we need. And for all the 290s over there, they're all short. We had to look at what the estimator ordered. What he did is from there to there, it's 5.2 over to over. It's 5.2.2. That's exactly what it is flat. That's what he's ordered on his estimations. So what he's done is he's ordered all our rafters, everything we need, not allowing for pitch. And 20 degrees, that's added like five, 600 mil. Mate, we're having such a good run. I guess that means we're not getting this done in three days. This morning, I actually thought we are going to have a really good crack at getting it done. I thought we'd fly through this. We have an extra few pairs of hands today too. Um, and now it's turned into be the worst case scenario. We've actually ran out of 9035 wine too, which we knew was going to happen. We're going to duck down and get some. But at this point, it's not really worth it. We're just going to have to wait to get a big delivery and sort out absolutely everything we need. So I'm going to build this small wall with a single top plate and I'm going to point load every single stud to land underneath the rafter. As soon as I'm doing that, what I'm going to measure out first is where the skylights are going to go. We've got three skylights. I've worked at the measurements, so I'm just going to mark them. I'm going to put the studs under the skylights and then I'm going to work out my rafter spacings so that when I build this wall, I can put the studs where the rafters go and that way we save a bit of timber and I'm going to do a double top plate. The best thing about doing it this way is that we can also now visually see where the skylights are going to be, make sure they are centered, make sure we haven't screwed anything up, and this is double checking our work. Is that one? 3575. We need to install this whaler on the stud wall for our rafters to butt into. The way the plans called for it was just a 240 whaler screwed onto these studs and go through into a double bugle screw into every single stud so it's solid. But another thing we're going to do as well though is since this is a 240 whaler and our rafters are 290, it means we've got roughly around 50 mil of the rafter which is going to go through and sit on top of this whaler. In terms of making it a stronger connection, it's not really going to offer too much more but it's just going to make it a lot easier to install that we don't have to try to hold the raft in the right place and that we can just sit it on this whaler and know it's right. Micho, so can you measure 2390 in the centre and we'll also check what level, check for level and check with our mark. Keep in mind we lasered the subfloor so if we measure up it should be perfect the whole way through. I think we do is um, we'll just get a temp brace, we'll plumb that up so it's solid. And then I'm thinking, I'm hoping. Temporary, like. 
as in this way first, yeah. and we'll do that way as well in a second. I'm hoping with this weather, I might get my green line laser level set up, but I just want to make sure that these heights are pretty similar. I've got no idea what this pad's poured like. If they're within three mil, we'll just um, cut them all the same. If they're not within three mil, we'll get this one right, and I think... String along. Yeah, even though there's bushes in the way, we'll, we'll figure something out. I had two metres 43 to the line. Two metres 32. Oh, that's bad, it's 10 mil. Maybe what we do is um, we'll get rid of that stud, recut it 10 mil higher, and then we'll mark out all the studs we need, and hopefully it's progressive and just progressively like add increments. Maybe cut like four at the same, four at the same, four at the same, whatever it works out to be. Um, changing them What's by like. What's going on this roof? Trusses? No, nah, so we got rafters. Okay. Um, there's a bit. Oh, there's a bit going on, but um, we got rafters going across the carport here. Need it. One more to me. Yeah, go there. Thanks, mate. I'm just gonna All right. hold that there. I'm just gonna shoot mine. I'm going to move that camera off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, since the new beams did arrive, we didn't have enough time to get them up today, but I did get the measurement for one of them, and I just want to cut it and quickly lift it up on both sides and make sure it works. If it works, that's great. We will use this as a template, and first thing tomorrow morning, I'm just going to get set up and cut all the beams that we need. If you're there, you got to pass up to them that ladder. I'll just come here and hold it so it doesn't slide. <laughs> Bit awkward, is it? Can we go to you? Yeah. My angle's perfect here. Yeah. I'm good. Actually, I'm not even going to test it on the other side. Measurements are pretty good. We will pass this down as a template though. We won't, we won't do the other side. It's, it's definitely going to be sweet. Can you um, turn around for a sec? It might be easiest for you. Let me know when you're on. Just gonna get up onto the ladder. Are you okay if I go right? Is that good? Which way's gonna be easiest for you if I pass it up flat or upright? Whatever works for you, man. Okay. Can we go to you about 400 mil? Go 450. Yep. And Mitch, you're going to have to let it slowly slide towards them as we go up on the pitch. Come to me, Mitch. I'm not going to stand here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you good, Mitch? Can you just keep a hand on that? Can we go to you 450? I'll right, make it 470. 480. To you, Mitch. Hold it to you. A bit more. Yeah. All right, you boys all right? Please don't drop that. Not you good. Activate. I'm gonna rotate it. Stand up. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be easier if I give you guys your stud first. Yeah. Um, but what we'll have to do is just go all the way to you, and then Mitch gets up. Do you wanna try that? Yeah. Sure. Go above that nog. Above the nog. Is that alright with you? Doing it that way? All good. Can you um you guys screw that off? Screw it off. Once I screwed it off, bitch, can you get your tape out? You can let go of it once it's screwed off. Get your tape out of yeah, 35 mil. So I can sit you for a sec. Yeah, do you want me to go up and over that nog line? One arm. Nice. Hey, Mitch, we're going to come to you. We've got to go around the start. Yeah. Ja uh, Mitch, he's going to come to you. Yeah. There's a stud in the way. Mitch, Yeah. Oh, my God. So the skylight's a 600. I'll get you to measure 600 off that mark there. That's this one? Yeah. yeah. Oscar, Mitch is going to give you the measure for this one. I don't think you have it yet. Yeah, it is. Can you... Uh, oh. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Is there any free Makita batteries down there that I can chuck in as you get charged? 18 volt? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. What? Why are they on? Change two for one. We're going to throw it at the same time. Alrighty. Nah, fuck yeah. I just throw two at the same time. <laughs> Where's this A20 door at? <laughs> Now you're good, so I didn't even know. Yeah. We're gonna have to flip it on you. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit. It's a bit too high to use the ladder, so we'll build this up for sure. Can you move that side. Sweet. Oh, I'm gonna jump on the carport roof while uh, Mitch finishes cutting the rafters. How many have you cut, Mitch? Okay. How many rafters have you cut? Four, including the, um, okay, the so you're halfway through. Sweet. I'll get set up on this roof then while you keep cutting those. What I think we do here is we'll completely neglect those rafters there. Yep. It's a different roof, um, so there's gonna be a little gutter there. And this one's going to start a new roof, so we don't need to worry about continuing rafter spans or anything for battens. Yep. Oh yeah, two degrees of fall over two meters means that we will pack this up 140 mil on this side. What I'm thinking is for the first one here, we just may need to take that stud out, play around with the checkout and something to hold it. That's going to be a bit of a play around. For the rest of them though, we'll just go through both sides, mark 900 centers. And if the 900 center fits in this bay here, what we'll do is we've got heaps of beams at the front out of pine. We'll whip them down to 140, get a double 140 at whatever that is, 560, and put a double 140 in there. So in between the two studs on there, yep. and then our um, rafter can sit on that wherever it is. A bit, a bit more to you. All right, so you, Mitch. To you a bit more, please. Oh, that's done. Was not shot in. A bit more to you. Yeah. 
Right, slide it to me. We'll do both ends, run the stringy, then we'll do the middle. Do you want someone there? Nice. That's 4-1. Just give me one sec. I'm just going to check if um, we have much of a tail, tail going past for the gutter. Yeah, for this one, we're just going to finish them right on that wool line. Um, so when you install these, we'll get someone on that side and we'll make them all flush with that wall. If they're in and out a little bit there, that's fine. What did I tell you? All right, do you want to go 4090? And we'll just come in like, I'll go 4095. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and um, for, your, for that side, your side, you want a two degree cut on it too. We're going like over here for the first one. Bring it down, bring it to Jack. I'll show you what we'll do. For every rafter, we'll do this the same way. Come across your 4095. Um, and you've done your plum cut there, which is good. So what we're gonna do for every single one is come in, measure 90 mil for the wall plate. And then what we'll do is put the square on that two degree mark, come down to that angle there where it hits the top plate. It's literally nothing. And we'll cut that little bit off. Yeah, just the three mil to nothing there. But if we didn't do that, it means just that tiny corner there's all that's really supporting the weight. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was pretty good, but this just makes it a bit perfect. All right, so Mitch is going through. He's framing out the skylights now. Boys are running through, cutting all the rafters for that carport and that storeroom. Stuff's going up. What I'm gonna do is just pre-cut a lot of uh, timbers for our outriggers. We've got a full fifty eve going around most of the rafters we have going up. So I'm going to pre-cut most of them. Hopefully by the time I'm done, Mitch is done. And we'll jump up, put the outriggers up and build some of the Ed Gable walls that we're going to do. front there, that'd be good. Thanks. All right, thanks mate. So, this is gonna be the top plate for our wall and we're gonna screw it into the outriggers. Yeah, I've got the whole thing. We should be following that wall that's right there. But yeah, you're over it. Tell me what I need to do and I can hold it for you and you can shoot that first one. Nice. Can I get that gun and plum stick? Gun first. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm um, a bit of an awkward spot. Sorry, man. Appreciate that. Thank you. Get me a sledgehammer, please. Sledgy? Yes, sir. Yeah. 
Can you uh, get a temp brace for here, please? Mm -hmm. That's sweet. Good? Yep. Feel good? No, not very 63 mil. Really shoots Can we square up, please? You got a good grip? Yep. Oh, I'm actually going to struggle to go out with this. No shit. I'm going to put it down. Oscar, can you get a ladder here, like under it too? Thanks. I've got the beam, you're sweet. You ready? Just hold my ladder if that's right, Mitch. Do you want to jump in, just jump in the middle yeah. and you might just be able to help with the balance going up. How many guys does it take to install a beam? You can come to me 10 if you need. Yeah, that's me. Oi, who almost rolled it? Alright, we didn't quite get there. The job still has a fair bit to do. So we will be back for one or two days next week to tie that off. That's just done for a while though. We're going to wait until some full protection goes up because most of the work we have to do is going to be on the roof, framing up some of those gable ends, doing some straps. But at least for this video, we did get most of the structural components done for this frame.